it is now time for us to to connect the date contact. Okay. Like we explained in the first uh, diagram, we talked about having where our gate contact should be like. They should be in same level. So if I come to this this uh, pillar, this area here, I need to mount my gate contact here. Now I'll put the female female gate contact here. I'll mount it. I need to screw screw that gate contact to this place, either the, the fence or the pillar or the gate catcher. But I need to make sure it's firmly fixed here. Then from the gate on the gate, I will also carry where where the male can actually go into the female because that you need to you need to make that calculation. You need to take take a good close look at it. So now let's assume this is one terminal from here, another terminal coming out from here. Okay, then I come here. The male. This is the male, and this is it. One terminal here. One terminal here. Yeah. Is that fine? So this gate, if it is slides open, it means it can actually take voltage from here to this gate to fill this gate when it slides when they come together. So maybe it's open. This place is left isolated. There's no supply here. It is dormant for that time. No voltage on it. It's only when it comes close. When the gate is closed, it means you have a complete circuit to this place. But when the gate is open, it means the circuit stops only on this very pillar. This very pillar. It is not crossing as at that time when the gate is open. But this part goes back like what I explained in the first uh, image. So now, what we'll do here is to get. We're only taking our life. So what I need to do is to take this one of the line. This one. I take this one from here. I draw this to if I'm taking it to this life watch there's a, there's a there's a trick here watch this trick watch this trick now let I'm putting this thing here right this number line six okay just take take a look at this this close loop here I will need to remove the jumper what I've used in looping this I will open this up take it away so as if this circuit is opened then I will take from here now to the gate contact. You see, there was a closed circuit here because I treated this separately to be done with this. Where this is ready, then we come in with the other one. Now, this is where the trick is. I have to remove this loop, those cable you use in jumping. Take this one off so that your, 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 your connection will not be in parallel. Because by the time if you leave this one here, if there's any broken circuit here, if this one is open, this thing will say sense it as close, it will still close it here. So you must take this one off. So already now that close has, has shifted to this part of the gate. The female, note, the female, you see? I have actually removed this and take it from here to one terminal and the other one, and I've removed this part. The next thing you need to look out for is this other part. Now I want to feed this gate. All I need to do is to take one line first. One after the other, I take from this. And let's say I go to the line six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I'm starting from here, line six, almost the edge, that means my voltage movement is going like When it gets here, it goes to the next line, which is four. From four, it returns, goes to three. From three, all the way to Line one, line one. It gets to this place. All I need to do is to also use a HT cable to bring this cable, HT cable, through this place. HT cable, you know, is well insulated. Gets here to this other one. So now having this one here, one to four, four to three, three to one, one to six, from six, uh, one to the, the gate contact. So this part is cool. it's complete. So when this guy comes in contact with this, this one gives it supply. It will open this and the close here, the, we transfer this close to this place. So when it's open, we transfer this close here back to this circuit where you have the closed circuit. So this guy takes it from here and already have the closed circuit here. So it's not closing up on the gate. So maybe this gate opens, it shifts the close from here and return it back to this terminal where the spring is actually pulling it back. To close of the circuit. I guess that is clear. It's straightforward. It's straightforward. You need to get 
Yet it's straightforward. Yes, it is. Because uh, that's the question they've been asking. And there's another scenario where you don't have this top side. Let me do that uh, scenario. Maybe we only have it here and here. Mm -hmm. Only have it here and here. There's no connection between. It's just, let's say, it's a straight fence. The other part, we're not going to put electric fence. It's been secured. Here, this right side has been secured. The left side has been secured. They just want, or maybe somebody has an uh, existing fence on this other side, right? And you, don't, you think you can't put your pole here, so you need to cover the front side. What you need to do? Okay. okay. Okay, this is the slide gate. This is a wall. And this is also a wall. Now, this side, okay, this other side, we have obstacles here. We can't, the fence cannot go through here. We want to feed these two sides, just here and here. And there's a slide gate separating both sides. Let's assume this is our fence here. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And here we also have um, one, let's see, this one is for the Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is also six line. All right, we have one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have stuff like this, all right? I want to link both sides. Hmm? A slight gate here, it means that there should be a gate contact that should be able to carry power here. Hmm? Now, Note, there are two ways. It's either I take this power from here to this one, through the bottom, or I pass through the gate contact. Let's watch it. For using HT through the bottom of the gate, I can decide to come here, just loop that, and get that done. No, I don't want to do that. I want to use this part of the gate. So what I need to do, these are filling part of our gate contacts, ready to receive the mail. Mm -hmm. This is a filling part, sorry. This terminal, one of the terminal, one of the other terminal. Then, here is the mail part. One here. On here. Okay, what I will do, I will need to treat this part first. I'll treat this part. This is the moving side. This is the moving part that slides in, forth, and back. So I'll take this. Let's say we get to the first line. Mm -hmm. This is, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And mind you, the configuration for a six line is live earth, 
live live at 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 live good so make sure we hit the number six live to go this way the next section is number four live returning to the live this is the next live to three the next live is one now from here, use a HT cable to also draw this. This is an HT cable. Draw this through the post and let it come to this. So it means here it's sorted. It's just many here and here. All I need to do is to take one of these. Watch this. I'll take one of these. These are static. They don't move. Let me take one to this place. Okay. Then I need to take... Um, I need to feed this part of the, the wall, the fence. So it means our at the end of the day. Ah no no no. Because if I'm using what I what I'm just considering is it is better for me to use there are two two ways here. If I use just pull a, a pipe a pipe channel pipe under the gates, okay, there's a pipe under where we need to have three cables. These are the cables one, two, three. Yeah, three cables here. This, this is the pipe. Let me just remove the pipe. Okay, just assume it's going through under the ground. So we don't get our get things mixed up. You might not, you might, so you don't get it called don't go get confused. Okay. okay. Let's assume these are three lines going here. Coming so that because of our earth. We need something to feed the, the earth also. This is live. Wait, do I use live? Earth live, okay. For ease. So we'll take the first live here. I can come all the way. Take one of this live. Take it to this gate contact. Take this one. With the HD cable still inside the pipe. It gets here goes to the line six. Let me from line six, this one travels all the way, gets here, go to the next life. True four, all right. Four, two, three. Now from here, from this point, use HT cable, take this one down. To the next life which is this one then take your edge through the same pipe comes here hit the number five and i look my edge now here it means this cable came in from here it's going this way and entered number six here number six to number four four to three three to one one back one is returning so this is the return the return of this cable i take this since this one is already ready here so let's say this is flowing this way okay it gets here number six uh life okay to four four gets here to three three gets here to one when this one gets here through this same channel of pipe inside this wall so i'm come out with your hc cable you take this to the live so it means this guy is coming here so i can tell you how you fix your energizer it's just a matter of breaking the lines okay so now uh, the only thing left is this guy the earth take your head through that same pipe come to your number five Hit your number five, then get your number five. Continue, can be in parallel. Yeah. And I think this is all. This is all. This is all. So, I just hope this explanation is clear and uh, you won't be having to ask much question about your gate contact. This is set, this settles it all. So, thank you for your time. Um, do hope to hear from you feedback. Don't forget, you need to also acquire your manual. It's important. It's important. It will help you a lot. There are so many things that have been analyzed. There are some 
uh, FAQs there still at the back of that uh, manual. And if there are other ones you need to uh, ask, by the time you get, you purchase yours, you are inducted into that WhatsApp group where you have a team of um, um, technicians who are already experts. Some, they are they're becoming pro already. So you also be in that group. And any question you want to ask, you need support, just come in, drop your questions. In no time, you get response instantly. Thank you for your time. Till we meet again in our next class. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.